chicklets, chicklets. Um. Apparently it's not okay to set up a studio in the land room. FG knot, where we connect braid to mono leaders. Very important part of fishing is to have a mono leader. But recently when I was with Sundays, they dumped me on the rock for the day and I, I lost a, a leader on a popper and I had to actually do an FG knot. I remember seeing a video recently just before I left of how to do the world's laziest, easiest FG knot. So I was on the rock and I had to actually sit up there and do it over and over again until I figured it out how to do it. In the end, what I found was the easiest FG knot you would ever imagine. It requires hardly any skill and hopefully if I showed it right now, properly with some good lighting and some good uh, close-ups with the camera, I'll hopefully have you tying the FG knot that actually makes it really simple for anyone in any conditions. Let's check out what we call the lazy man's FG knot. But obviously I've got the braid coming off the tip of the rod and I have to prepare this so I can attach this Mariah stick bait, okay? So this is the Mariah tuna slaying weapon that we're going to use on the barrels. Alright, look at it. Like a little pilchard, beautiful floating little stick bait. And this is two lengths, uh, two arm spans of 150 pound fluorocarbon, okay? All right, so here's gonna work. So as you can see, Trady's hands. That's definitely been working. Look at those paint hands. Probably seen my hands on a few videos going, what does he do? Well, I mix paint. I'm actually a color matcher. Nice and simple tag. It's about four inches long. I'm just gonna pinch it in my fingers like that. All right, my dirty Trady fingers covered in paint, but there it is, pinched. Right, then I'm going to get the, the, the braid off the rod tip. There it is there. All right, and I'm basically going to lay it over the top and just sit it there. I actually have about, I don't know, about a half a foot, three quarters of a foot. Come at this side, all right? All right I'm going to grab this side. I'm going to put it under, around the tip, and pinch it. I'm going to go get this one. I'm going to go under, over, pinch it. I'm going to go over this side and I'm going to pinch it. Alright. Over. Pinch. Under and over. Pinch. I'm not even, this is all loose in my hand. I'm not even holding it tight. Alright. So grab this end, this tag end, grab it over and just pull out and pinch it. I'm pulling back towards it. So I'm going to slow, show you in slow motion now. I'm going to try to show you with my bare hand what the knot looks like. See it's starting? And there it is. All right. I'm just going to pinch it. So the last one over was the main line. Like that. Pinch it. Then put this one over underneath and over. And pinch it. And this one over. Pinch it like that, and this one under and over. Watch, pinch it. There's no tension on this. Look at it, it's beautiful. It even looks good. It even looks like a it even looks like a little FG knot for me, doesn't it? No tension. All right. So the last one was the tag, I'm going to grab the main line. So remember, the very start of this, the first one was the main line that went over. I'm going to go over again. See it pulling up? I'll just move that. So I did this on the rock. I tried to do this video on the rock with a GoPro on my head. And of course, you can imagine how that turned out, because it's very hard to watch a knot with a GoPro. So as you can see, it's forming beautifully. No tension. I could be literally just walking around, put the knot down and keep going with it. The last one to come over was that one. Hold it, just, just gently hold it. Just get this one, which is the main line, back over the top. Watch it. Pinch it. So you get the idea. Okay, so we just keep pinching it. This one goes over. Pinching it. This one goes over right there, pinching it. Now I find the secret is you want to, don't want to do this too long. I've been working on about, would you believe, just 15 times each side. I've done a few of these now, so I'm actually getting quite good at it. Alright, there it is. Look at it, looking great. And you get the main line, and you pull it against the, the line like that. Alright. And there 
it is. Then all I'm gonna do is get a half hitch. And do another half hitch. Make sure it's nice and tight. That's looking pretty sexy, isn't it? Right. Once again, we've had no tension on this knot at all. There it is, so it's looking pretty sexy. That's just the tag in hanging down now. Now all we have to do is just, we've got to cinch it. We've actually got to put some pressure on this knot so all this here stretches out and Chinese finger locks that, that mono. So now look how good that looks now. All we do now is we go this like this, we get the main like this and we pull it up and cinch it. And all this stuff here just pulls out and stretches out under load and then Chinese finger locks on, on basically grips onto the mono and squeezes so tight that it goes see-through. Alright, so that is the most important part of this knot is the is the is the cinching of the knot is what makes the knot so special. <sighs> now she's cinched. Before we go any further with the knot, I'm just going to show what cinching looks like under the light here. We'll get the camera zoomed right in. So the knot is actually really neat at this end and really tight. And at the back end here, if you can have a look, it's actually stretched out and actually grabbed and gone like really crunched real tight on the mono. So now we've got to finish this knot. Looks good, looks strong. See the braids have gone from orange to like a dark clearish orange. Huge pressure on there, but looking good overall. There's the tag end of the mono. We're gonna nip that back about, leave about three mil. All right, just a tiny little nub. We're gonna melt that with a lighter in a minute. We're gonna nub it. There it is. A bit more. I know that I'm not getting the knot too hot because my fingers would burn. Let's see, I put a little nub on that. That stops the knot ever slipping off. All right, so now, what we're gonna do now is we're going to run just some half inches up the main line with this little sucker here. Half inch. Half inch. So at this point you can do a fancy prosciutto knot. There's plenty of people on the internet teaching you prosciutto finishes and fancy finishes. But when I'm out in the rock and I'll, I'll, I'll go the other day and there was bloody queen fish and GTs around, I just went quickly went like this and just did six of these. I said, you know what, I'm done. And I trimmed it and I went fishing. Basically, there's the finished connection right there. So you've got the, uh, you can see the mono there, connected to the FG knot to the main line. And it's super smooth through the guides. No lumps, no bumps, very neat. No tension required. You've seen the whole thing done with low tension on any of the lines. And that is actually strong. Dave and Adrian, when I wasn't looking the other day, saw what I'd done, and when I wasn't there, they, they tested it with their knots and it actually came out equal. So they were they gave it the thumbs up, they said pretty good. Pretty good for a lazy person that doesn't like to tie knots. Absolutely tight all the way along. It actually pulled up tight under pressure. So the actual final cinching of the knot made it go clear from that bright orange, that milky white orange, to that dark clear orange and grab it all the way along. So there you go, that's the super simple FG knot for lazy people. I'm hoping this edit came out all right. I literally have just walked into my garage. I've just grabbed that first light I could find and just sat down. So obviously now I've got uh, two meters. I can tie on my stick bait and I'm away. I can go fishing with the boys tomorrow and chase tuna, big bluefin tuna.